What is good, everybody? Today we have some brand new wrestling action figure news for you guys, and uh, one of them is insane. One of them we we dove into in a short on on my YouTube channel. We did discuss it already here on the channel in like a quick little 50 second interval there, of course, in the shorts. But I want to get on here and start the video off with that bit of news, and then we'll dive into the rest of the action figure news or the wrestling action figure news that we have today, man. So with that being said, let's dive into it, man. If you guys are unaware, we do have a new Mattel Creations revealed event coming very very soon. It's going to be next Friday, I do believe, March. 22nd, which is just about under a week away, maybe six days away now from the time of recording this, and we're going to have this big reveal event, and I do believe that, you know, Steve already talked about it on the forums, he came out and he did say that there were going to be a few reveals, and a item that is going to be exclusive that is probably going to go up for pre-order during that event, I do believe he came out and did say that a actual figure will be up for pre-order next Friday, that is going to be an exclusive to Mattel Creations, and they're also going to show some other things, or a few other things, which I covered in my last video that we talked about with the news, that a a few has to be at least three things because one is one two is a couple. Anything more than two is a few, right? Like, less than five would probably be, like, a, a few. So, nonetheless, they posted up this little thing right here, which I want to talk about, man. They put up this little trailer kind of celebrating the revealed event, or kind of teasing it, and at the end of the trailer, it shows all the different licenses, logos that Mattel owns the rights to, or that they make the figures for, or make these, you know, make collectibles for. And when they popped up the WWE logo, it said collectors, and behind the collectors logo there, you can see what looks to be, and it's not, it's not what looks looks to be, Brad. It, it is, in fact, CM Punk's fist with the wrist tape, with the X's, and then you also have this lightning bolt design with some ring ropes in front of it. So, I think it is all but clarified that we are going to see an Ultimate Edition CM Punk made to order on MattelCreations.com. Now, we don't know what the gear is going to be. We don't know exactly what that looks like, but I would guarantee that we're going to see a CM Punk Ultimate Edition made to order figure similar to a Logan Paul, similar to a Cody Rhodes that we saw, and I think that's going to be the thing. I bet it goes up for pre-order. It's probably going to be up for $39.99 or something like that or it may even be it may be less than that I guess we'll have to see about that I don't remember what Cody and Logan were maybe $34.99 or maybe a little more I can't remember but this is absolutely a thing this is going to take place CM Punk Ultimate Edition is coming and I think at Wrestlemania World coming up in a few weeks here we're also going to get a ton of reveals similar to a Comic Con situation so a lot happening here but I did want to cover this first because I think it's very intriguing and I know a lot of people would be excited about a CM Punk action figure coming so I definitely wanted to touch on this but I think at Wrestlemania World we could I I don't know if there's going to be a panel, but if there's a panel and whatnot, maybe they show off renders of upcoming CM Punk figures too. I mean, this guy's going to be pumped out everywhere, man. He's going to be in the top picks elite line. He's going to be in the greatest hits line. He's going to be in the ultimate edition line. He's going to be in the legends line, possibly. So they're going to be pumping this guy out every other wave, similar to Cody. I mean, the, the waves are going to look like they're going to be Cody Rhodes and CM Punk all over the place. So it should be interesting, man. We've entered into a golden era here, but all the CM Punk collectors need to buckle up because it is coming. But that is the first thing I wanted to touch on, man, because I think it's insane. What do you guys think? Are you intrigued with it how hyped are you let me know down in the comment section below we also had this posted up now i heard that this was a listing on mercari i'm not entirely sure here but we have the new like battle packs or the new championship showdown packs and it looks like we have austin theory and john cena roman reigns and jay uso and then we have Rey mysterio and gunther now these are up for pre-order i think on ringside collectibles already but we haven't seen the figures yet but i guarantee at not the revealed event but i guarantee at wrestlemania world these are going to be on display i would guarantee it so i, I mean we may even get a get that's another thing man like we have this revealed event coming this next friday but what about like them posting up a random you know photo gallery or something like that they could post up a random gallery at any moment and that would probably include all the walmart collector con stuff that we've seen revealed it would probably include all that and then probably these figures here and maybe some other stuff but if you zoom in here man you guys will see that they did make the gi joe cena gear which you can't make out a lot of the details but it, i mean it's not you know they can't do the hat they can't do the shirt so they did make it in a you know a regular quote-unquote main event figure or a basic right here but it does look like he has a brand new you can't see me hand which is very interesting to me you guys know that i've always talked about how his you can't see me hand has never really been a you can't see me hand it's always been like a flat palm and it didn't look super like realistic it looks like they've created a brand new you can't see me hand which is very interesting indeed so that's very intriguing right there that we have a new cena here but it, it still looks for a pretty cool basic figure i mean you could buy the shirt and hat or customize the shirt and hat and then throw it on there and that would make for a pretty decent little display piece. Of course, I want it to be an elite and everything, and of course, they can't put the forces. They wore custom Air Force Ones during this event at WrestleMania 39. Was there in person? Shattered me. Just a, uh, how did John Cena lose this match? It's so dumb. Uh, go, 
God in heaven, man. Austin Theory is like a 72 overall in 2K, and he beat John Cena at WrestleMania last year. That makes me sick to my stomach. Austin Theory in the gold gear here, very flat, man. We do have a new Austin Theory head sculpt. Kind of looks like, kind of looks like Wardlow, to be honest with you. But I don't know. The gold here looks very pale yellow. It doesn't really look that good. Very plain. But yeah, it is a new Austin Theory head sculpt, as you guys can see. He's got the beard and everything. Kind of a crimson chin, a little bit. I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to tell. It's not the best photos, right? We're gonna have to wait. But hopefully the head sculpt doesn't look bad. But we do have this new Austin Theory John Cena battle pack, and then we also have Roman Reigns down here, man. Roman Reigns with his Thousand Day Reigns shirt on. And if they have the Thousand Day Reigns shirt on, I do believe the person that this photo is from did say that this Roman Reigns comes with the new championship. So this battle pack is going to be heavily sought after. And it makes me think that the new Elite 110 Roman Reigns, it is absolutely going to be a promo Ro Roman Reigns, I guarantee. And I guarantee it's going to come with the New World Championship, man. That's what I'm going to be guessing. So we will have to see about that as well. But he's got his red kicks in there. He's got the Thousand Day Reigns shirt on. But apparently this Battle Pack or Championship Showdown Pack, whatever, Main Event Pack, whatever the hell you want to call it here, man, is going to come with Jey Uso as well. Very weird Jey Uso. I mean, this man looks crazy. He looks like just a red sprout with a head and arms sticking out. It's just because it's the raw shirt with the, raw, with the red pants, the red shoes, just very red all over, and then you have, you know, his head sculpting his arms in there. The Roman looks cool. The Jey Uso is not the best of all time, but Roman Reigns' head sculpt doesn't look to be new just yet, so it doesn't look like that new of a head sculpt. At least, it looks like the same basic head sculpt we've seen the last couple times. You know, not the tapered beard just yet. Hopefully, that's coming, man. That updated head sculpt that I've waited for years for, we'll have to see if it comes to fruition, but the last one we have is Rey Mysterio and Gunther, and I don't like the head sculpt on Rey Mysterio still. It just looks off to me still, but we do have this black and gold gear it looks okay, you know, I think, you know, if you if you lined up all of Ray's basics, man, it would look really cool, but, and I like the new articulation, obviously, as we touched on, he does have all his tattoos in there, which is also great, but it doesn't look like a flat figure, which is good, it actually does have some dimension and stuff, he's got the bicep bands, the gloves, the wrist gauntlets, mask doesn't look good, though, I don't like the head sculpt, so I don't know, that's just something that they just, we just can't get right with Ray Mysterio, but, and then the Gunther figure is just a re-release of his basic 145 for the most part, I think it may have a little bit more deco, maybe a little bit of white accents or something like that, but it basically, is like all puns intended basically the same exact figure of Gunther but we do get a battle pack of Gunther and Rey Mysterio but yeah it's pretty cool to see these figures man I thought that was cool apparently this was posted on Mercari or something like that but I couldn't find I looked it up on Mercari and couldn't find it and you can see sold listings and I still couldn't find it so I don't I don't know about all that we'll have to see but yeah we did have the championship showdown packs right there but then we had some AEW figures put up right here man and I do want to get into this because I thought it was intriguing we have AEW in match series number nine here man and the full wave you have Jamie Hayter you have Wheeler Yuta, John Moxley, Claudio, Jeff Hardy, and Brian Danielson. And we're going to run through the entire wave, man. First, we do have the Jeff Hardy figure, man. Let's start off with the Jeff Hardy figure. Now, this is a brand new figure that we had not seen. We had not seen this Jeff Hardy figure. He comes with a chair. This is like the day he, he came into AEW. This is the figure in which he showed up for the first time. I think he came out. Remember, he comes out and he saves Matt and he like does a little day. Like, he, he's, like his brother is getting beat down in the middle of the ring. And then Jeff Hardy comes out. Everybody loses their mind. And he comes out with a chair to save. Matt and he does like a like a five second or like a little you know like one and a half second little dance and it went viral for that reason because it's like oh my god he just had to do the dance he couldn't help himself before saving his brother but he comes with a chair and it's it's got all his art on there which I think is a really cool accessory I do like that you know Jeff Hardy very talented artist I always enjoy his work so you have that and then he also has he has all of his tattoos on there it seems he's got his big demon tattoo he's got all of you know snake wrapping around and all the different arm sleeves and Mattel never gave us a sleeve Jeff Hardy like this. We never had that. You know, the Elite 57 was close. The Elite 75 was close, but it wasn't quite there. You know, we never got all of the tattoos like this. So having this Jeff Hardy is a great base for future Jeff Hardys. I just hope that, you know, it does look like he has the Chris Jericho torso, which I'm, I don't know if I'm a fan of that. I don't know if I like that, but his throat's covered. His, his shoulders are covered. Head sculpt looks good. He's got his man bun in there. That's another head sculpt we never got from Mattel was a man bun Jeff Hardy. So, you know, this is going to be a figure that I think a lot of people were intrigued with. I am worried about his signature hands, you know, like the Jeff Hardy, you know, signature pose there. The hands just look small for whatever reason. Any signature hand that they make for these, for AEW figures, seems like they always have smaller hands for whatever reason, but this Jeff Hardy figure, uh, I like the pants, I like the studded belt and everything like that. I don't think he had his signature wrestling pants on, but it, they probably made these signature wrestling pants the look of them, because they're going to be redoing them over and over again, but it's very intriguing because we have our first Jeff Hardy, and just like the Briscoe brothers that are coming soon, his legs are very thick, man. These are very thick 
weak leg, so I'm worried about when you bend the knee, but I'm very intrigued with this figure. I love Jeff Hardy. Definitely one of my favorite guys of all time, right? I love collecting his figure, so this is going to be an insta-cop. Can't wait to see exactly what you get here, but he even has, like, a wristband on. He comes with his chair, and, you know, you can buy different shirts and stuff. I wish he could he could have included a cloth shirt or something, but I'm very intrigued with the Jeff Hardy figure. I'm very much looking forward to it, and hopefully this figure will check all the boxes and be great, but we won't know until we get it in hand, and you're probably wondering what the hell happened to the face paint Jeff Hardy figure. Well, that figure is apparently coming in Unrivaled 16. I do know that it was originally shown as an unmatched figure, but I think they had moved some stuff around. I, I don't know why that figure is not coming first now, but that one's going to be a wrestling gear for Jeff Hardy, and hopefully it'll be easy to make this guy into a wrestling figure or something like that. I don't know. Well, maybe you have to hit up some custom shirt makers to put on here. You could put a Mattel head sculpt on it. He'll play around, because this isn't his boots either. He was wearing like some white trainers or some Under Armour shoes or something like that, so if I really wanted to do the deep dive, I could probably figure it out. It kind of looks like on clouds, though, the more I look at it. Nah, and the outsoles don't look right. I don't know, but nonetheless, the Jeff Hardy looks amazing. Can't wait for it. I just, I, I'm intrigued with it. Can't wait for more Jeff Hardys. I hope that we get a Supreme of him soon, but we'll have to see about that. We also have Jamie Hayter here, which is very nice. I like the haircut. You know, not my favorite gear of all time, but it does look like it's kind of iridescent or something. We're going to have to wait and see if she, they actually can put that metallic or glowing style paint in there, but I do like the Jamie Hayter figure. She also comes with the Women's Championship, which, which looks good, obviously. We don't have a ton there, so it'd be nice to have that, but the Jamie Hayter figure, her first go around was really good, so I'm sure this one will be just as good, but we do have a repeat of a Jamie Hayter figure coming in. And then the next figure we have, man, is the Unmatched Series number 9 Brian Danielson figure. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be switching the torso. They don't like the torso that Brian Danielson come, comes with, and I'm right there with you. I think it should be reworked, or they should just give him the MJF torso, just bottom line. Give him the MJF torso. I think it would save a lot, but I have seen people, I, this is something I need to do on surgery, but I've seen people give Wardlow the Brian Danielson torso, and it looks pretty damn good. I think, I think you know, we've been trying to figure out how we can, you know, make a singlet list Wardlow or how we've been trying to make a Wardlow without the singlet on and it seemed like that it, that seems to be working so we'll have to see about that on surgery hopefully we can get a new surgery out very soon but he's got his khaki joggers in there he has his on clouds on in the navy colorway which are great we touched on this before but we've seen this figure a long time ago right we've seen, we've known about this figure for a while he comes with the white tee and you know the white tee even got his own slide so anytime they show accessories like this by themselves it means that it's going to be cloth goods so have learned that over the over the span here but Brian Danielson does look good man. I'm excited for the figure. You guys know I love promo gears and stuff. And, you know, you could switch the torso and put somebody else in khaki joggers or something like that. So I'm always open for the, you know, I love promo gears. It's, this is going to be an awesome figure just for the simple fact of the promo gear. So I love that. Any any figure that releases of a superstar talent that's not in the wrestling gear, I'm always for that. So Brian Danielson looks good. And we also have Claudio here looking very good. You know, he is the chase in the set. The regular edition is the black and red. And then the chase variant is the one of 3000, which is going to be in this silver and camo gear, which looks damn good. He's got the white boots. I really wish that the regular edition was the Chase version and vice versa because I do like the Chase better, but the regular version does come with this long sleeve shirt, the BCC shirt, which looks really, really good. It even has the graphics on the sleeve, has the graphics on the back, so that's awesome for Claudio, and hopefully, you know, we'll have to uh, get that in there, see what that's like, see his first AEW figure. We'll have to see if the head sculpt, the head sculpt looks really good in render form, so we'll have to see if it actually, you know, we always joke about the, you know, the Jason Statham figure I made. Looks just like Jason Statham, so we'll see if this head sculpt resembles him when it comes out, but we do have our Claudio figure, and then we also have John Moxley in series number nine. You actually get the whole damn combat club here because you get every, I mean, it looks like you get everybody here, man, but John Moxley looks good. I really love the white, like, snow camo going on. I like the skull graphic on here. Good head sculpt. I like how he's pissed off, and he's got the thicker beard. It's kind of, it kind of looks like the Unrivaled 12, but it's slightly different, so that's good, but this figure looks good. I really like this, like, grayish, brownish camo pants going on. He also comes with a, a cloth goods hoodie, and then he also even has the graphic on the back of it, and then he has the AEW Championship, and uh, I think that Moxley, I just wish that his figures just were a little bit more more compact. I wish that they were more sturdy because his figures look aesthetically so good. I just, they're very hard to pose around because his legs are kind of, I don't know, like his ankles get loose or his feet get loose and then his legs get kind of loose and then he's pretty massive. So hopefully we can uh, readjust the, the John Moxley figures, but he also has chest hair, which I think also makes the figure stand out also. It's just a subtle detail that stands out, but I like the head sculpt as well in this John Moxley. And then we also have Wheeler Yuta here in the white and red. Very good. I like that it looks like blood splatter. I like, I love that. I think that looks good, but he also comes with a cloth good shirt and the Ring of Honor Pure Championship, which we saw on his ringside exclusive Blood and Guts. And I mean, this is close to a Blood and Guts. It looks like his gear is soaked in blood, so you have that. But yeah, this is a solid figure. I mean, you can make your ringside exclusive Wheeler Yuta into a non-bloody Wheeler Yuta, but as far, if you don't fix up anything, this is going to be our first un- 
you know, unbloody version. So there is a way that you can make your Wheeler Yuta, you know, not bloody, but this is also the first, you know, normal release where you don't have to make any switches that is non-bloody. So there is that. But yeah, the Wheeler Yuta figure does look pretty damn good. And then we also have Alex Reynolds here. Now I know a lot of people are going to be pissed off about this because he is the one of 5,000 Chase, very similar to the bunny here, that he is the Chase variant in this set. So I know just, I can hear the groans from here, man. A lot of people do not like when they do this. I mean, it's, it's the final member or, you know, another member of a faction here. And the only way you can get your hands on this is a Chase. So Unmatched 9, Alex Reynolds, Chase, 1 of 5,000. And I don't even think you can buy this on Ringside Collectibles. So it's just kind of a, you know, it's just a luck of the draw thing. So yeah, he's got his Dark Order jacket in there, which is going to be rubber as it comes on the figure in the render shot. But yeah, I hate that you have to find this in a Chase figure. So I don't, I don't really know the situation on that right there, man. Claudio and Alex Reynolds are the Chases here. So there are those figures, man. But that is all of AEW and Match Series 9. But they also revealed a new Ringside exclusive here. And it was Jericho Housen. We have a Danhausen or, you know, Jericho, Chris Jericho wearing the Danhausen face makeup and everything like that. He's got the cape on and the gear and everything. I do believe he did this on a Jericho cruise, and that was the only time he ever did it. It was like a one-off, and they made a figure out of it, kind of like the ringside exclusive shield Kurt Angle. You know, it was just like a one-off for Kurt Angle, and they made it into a figure, and that's what we have here. And so, I would like to know what you guys think of this figure down in the comment section below. I don't know. I, a lot of people were dragging this figure. I think the execution of the figure is good. You know, I think it looks like how he looked, you know, with the face paint and everything like that. You know, not my favorite of all time, but I do love Danhausen. But I don't know if I needed a Chris Jericho and Danhausen makeup, you know. I think they could have chose a different ringside exclusive, but I would like to know down below what you guys think about this figure, man. A lot of people were not intrigued with this, but he has the yelling head sculpt. He's got the smile, and then he's got the straight face. I'm sure the packaging is going to be really damn good for this as well, as you guys know that ringside exclusives they always go hard on those but he even comes with a cape in there and on the cape it's got Chris Jericho's face it says very nice very ocho which I think is funny so I we'll have to see when this figure you know we get like actual shots of these figures but these renders have been out for a very long time they it was long enough that they could actually plug Jeff Hardy into this line in you know, you know his debut gear or not his debut gear, like wrestling gear, but his first appearance, I guess you could say, on AEW television. But I'm interested to know, you know, what these figures are going to actually look like because they've been in the works for so long. So I'm intrigued with that, hopefully, you know. And also, before we get out of here, Jeremy... Padauer also put this out on Twitter. He did say, Vault news next week. And then he, you know, tagged Jazzwares and AEW by Jazzwares. So I'm hoping that the Vault stuff will be coming soon. You know, we got to see so much Vault stuff, man. There was tons of Vault stuff, tons of Vault news. You know, Ring of Honor figures coming and exclusives and one of 5,000s, one of 3,000s and all these different exclusives. And we're just patiently waiting on that to launch, man. I feel like it's been a while since we learned about the Vault. And now I'm waiting on the Vault, man. I'm ready to see the Vault and ready to go on there and buy some figures. So we'll have to see exactly what comes of that. Hopefully this will uh, news next week. So I guess, you know, next week's going to be big for news. We're going to get Vault news with those. Maybe maybe the website launches. Maybe we get some exclusives up. And then maybe, the you know, on Friday we have the WWE revealed event or the Mattel revealed event where they're going to show off some new WWE action figures and stuff, so that'll be awesome as well. So we'll just have to see about all that stuff, man. But apparently Vault News is coming. We have Unmatched Series 9. We have all these different things, man. So I am excited to cover it all here, man. Next Friday, of course, we're going to cover all of the news here, man, and it should be a very fun time. And then on next Saturday, I will be at Toy Lanta in Atlanta. It's this massive toy show, so if you guys are going there, I'm only going to be there for Saturday, I think. I'm going to wake up early, get there at opening, and then be there until, you know, it closes. I'm pretty sure we'll do a big WWE action figure toy hunt, be all around there. So if you guys are going to Toy Atlanta and you want to speak or, you know, come by or whatever, man. I'm not going to be setting up or anything. It's just going to be me walking around. So if you see me, definitely speak. I would love to talk wrestling action figures or about anything, man. So sounds like a great time. And also tonight, I'm probably going to be doing a whatnot show. So definitely be on the lookout for that. I don't know exactly, but if you guys are interested in that, definitely have the bell on and, and make sure you're following me on whatnot. Use the link in the description below to join. You get $10 off your first purchase if you've never joined, man. So a, lo a lot of people have pending stuff over there, man. So definitely go join in. I'm going to have a giveaway going. I don't know what's going to be going. I don't know what the hell I'm giving away just yet. I don't know what I'm putting up for sale just yet, but that's what today's going to be about. So I plan on going live tonight on whatnot. If I don't go live tonight, it'll probably be tomorrow night because there's a lot of, like, boxes you got to check before you, you know, you get on there and do all the things. But I am going to be doing that, man. So if you guys are interested in that, you can come by the show, of course. But I think that wraps up today's news, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know where your thoughts are on all these figures down in the comment section below. I'd love to know, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Huge shout-out to those fellas over there. Greatly appreciate each and every one of you guys, man. Thank you guys so very much for all that you do for me. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.